South Korea, population of 51 million people, has accomplished on introducing the culture to the world and through K-pop, K-beauty, K-food, our culture has influenced many lives in the world and taught people how to enjoy lives in our ways. And this, this is about beer. Something that's globally connected and what we all enjoy in life. No differences in our background. K-beer. This is Beer Tour in Seoul. Hello everyone from the YouTube. This is Jonathan and this is Beer Tour in Seoul. I will be reviewing Korean beer Feel Like by Tight. Before we start, um, I was very excited to see a lot of snowfall. Uh, it's winter time in South Korea, but mm, I hope too much. But uh, sadly, the snow started melting away. Um, the temperature raised and uh, the snow quickly faded away. And that was fun, a week of snowfall. It's quite sad to see snow just disappear so suddenly, but well, who can carry blame? The mother of nature. Anyways, feel like, feel like is again, one of the cheapest beer that you can enjoy in South Korea. Um, uh, you can go anywhere and you can see this, these uh, beer with elephant on it. If you see a beer with an elephant on it, uh, you can tell right away it's cheap beer. So, cheap beer, Feel Light by Height. Feel Light was launched in, back in April of 2017 and it started quickly selling uh, as soon as it has launched due to its low price. Like any other beers, if there are low price, there has to be a must reason why the selling price on markets are so low. Well, that is because this beer is not technically considered as a beer because of the low content of malt. Delight has uh, managed to maintain the beer taste, the flavors, by increasing the hop content. So low malt and increased content of hop that somehow had balanced and created this technically not beer, beer tasteful beer. Why won't we begin with a color? They liked. Barley, clean barley flavor. Color. So, I've uh, mentioned this a lot of times in my previous video as you pour the beer into a glass and you see intense bubbling effect going on as you pour the beer inside the cup that's carbonation and one of the uh, distinctive flavors that Korean beer tends to be so heavily carbonated beer the cheapest beer you can find in Korea the color uh, I'd say it's SRM of above 4 and the turbidity I can see through it, so it's clean for the smell. So as it suggests that it had the manufacturers, the height company had increased the hop when they were manufacturing this beer, so I do smell a lot of hopness. So let's try to taste this. Well, although they've increased the hop in this beer so much that you would expect that bitterness, that distinctive bitterness from the hop, but you don't. Well, if I could put a description of this beer in a short sentence as possible, I would say it's... Alcohol with carbonated barley tea. So, it's... It's alright, I guess. When you live in Korea and you get used to the Korean beers and carbonation is one of the... Uh, carbonation is something that you cannot avoid of having when you're drinking beers in Korea. Uh, literally, every beer is heavily carbonated and once you get used to that carbonation, that tingling sensation, I'd say it's a matter of uh, price, I guess. Uh, that's how you market the beer industry in South Korea, really. 
So there's nothing to, too much to say about the taste um, other than that it's alcohol based with carbonated barley tea. So let's just try one more. It's, um, it's, it's light and it's enjoyable. It's not disgusting, but well, it's, yeah. Well, uh, I think it's really about the budget, really. Um, if you have money, I'd say uh, just school by yourself. <laughs> other range of Korean beer or craft beers or, or domestic or imported in a way uh, well if you're having a nice party and you're trying to enjoy your time and you're on the budget then I guess this feel like by height is worth fine you do smell hot but there is no bitterness from that hop but there is strong sense of alcohol as you let the liquids flow through and that's really about it really this beer is like yes like I mentioned it's about the budget really I think the low priced beers are kind of trends right now in Korea um, because we're so used to the carbonated uh, tingling sensation when drinking beer in Korea, it's we don't really... Uh, how do I say it? Uh, <clears throat> the whole drinking scheme, um, especially for beers in Korea, we Koreans, um, we are so used to the carbonation and tingling sensation that we don't really necessarily go and search for other, other um, beautiful crafted masterpiece of other sorts and ranges of beer if you know what i mean there is if you know beer there is so much fun and having taking on the venture to find a beer with a specific taste that the manufacturers had focused during the during their design and it's that fun is there when we are searching for the beers that we have never tasted it. But since in Korean culture we are so used to carbonation, carbonated beers, the tingling sensation, I'd say it's unnecessary because, well, we're happy with it, I guess. And I think the word, this, this phrase, we drink alcohol to get drunk, aren't we? is so strong in Korea and it's for me in my perspective quite sad but can we, we we can't blame anyone because you know we're trying to live our lives and with a low budget and we're trying to get drunk and we're trying to enjoy our time I guess low-cost beers are first thing to go first thing to find I mean so one more interesting thing about this feel like to clean barley flavor is that the these beers appeared in the movie called Parasite. Parasite had one four times in the categories, Academy Awards. And if you have watched it, these Parasite movie there uh, there is a family Poor families, poor family members are gathered around in a small, low table sitting on their buttocks on the floor in their house living room with a small pizza in the center and with real life clean barley flavor in their hands. So, so this Parasite movie is, is a story, well I don't want to give away, I don't want to spoil it for who haven't watched the movie, but it's about this hierarchy system. Uh, with rich people and poor people. So the family that I'm talking about who's having this beer is poor people. So that really tells basically everything about this beer. Well, can't say that, but uh, it's a cheap beer, low class beer. And it's technically not even a beer as well because in our regulation and st standards, there must be a certain amount of malt content has to exist in a beard to be labeled and titled as a beard and this is about 10% of uh, malt so it's not technically it's not a beard 
So, it's interesting. Height, although Height is one of the biggest company, biggest brewery company in South Korea, and they managed to create a low-cost beer. So that really tells about Korean markets of brewery industry. Uh, the taste, the Korean beer taste. Two things. First, Korean business. Although the biggest company, they make. They are uh, although they are a top of the mountain of the beer industry in South Korea, the Korean company, they managed to make a cheap beer like this. That really tells you a lot about it because it relates to the flavor. Because we are so used to carbonation, uh, carbonation that tingling sensation from the Korean beers that there no needs to be any other research to create different source of beer because. Uh, beer holics like who would search for different tastes and flavors of beers are not too many around in South Korea. That is a very sad part. Well, we drink alcohol to get drunk. <laughs> well, yeah, sure, but why can't we enjoy other flavors? Anyways, well, that's basically about this beer. There's not much to say, but it's a cheap beer and it's worth buying if you're on a budget and if you're having a light party with your friends. So try it. My personal score for this beer is gonna be 2.2 2. 2. 2. 2 out of 5 because it's, it lacks everything actually. Um, first, it lacks malt. There's hop but it was used in, for a different reason than a usual pop during the brewing process. And third, it tastes like alcohol just mixed with carbonated barley tea. And then again, we drink alcohol to get drunk, aren't we? That's, that's a strong sense that everybody has in Korea. So. Anyways, well, that's it for today and thank you very much for watching my video. Please subscribe and like my video. Your support and subscription will help me to move forward and finding varietyness of South Korean and introduce it to you through a YouTube. Yes, please do that. And if you have a chance in your country, if you have a chance to taste Feel Light by Height, please Purchase it and make your own review of it in down below in the comments and I will reply back and we can have a discussion of this funny beer. Well, it's not, te it's technically not a beer, so thank you very much and have a great day. Thank you, bye.